In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Mika a colorful crochet cowl. This is a simple repeating stitch pattern worked in the round. The five color stripes work well with this stitch pattern to accentuate the texture and movement. Experimenting with color adds a whole new dimension to the thought and intention of a project. This cowl works up quickly and makes a great gift. You will need one ball each of five colors of Beso Baby yarn, a G6 four millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle, and scissors. In the sample shown, I used colors chocolate, peacock teal, aquamarine, turquoise, and ecru, but you can mix and match any of the 43 colors of Be So Baby yarn to make all sorts of different amazing color combinations. I'll use different colors for the sample today just to show you another fun combination. I'm going to start with color Mykonos Blue and tie my yarn to my crochet hook. This pattern is worked in a multiple of 12 stitches, so if you wanted to customize this pattern in any way, you would just want to add or subtract in multiples of 12 from the original chain that you will get in the pattern. I'm going to do a reduced size sample today, so I will chain in a multiple of 12 and join with a slip stitch to turn it into a ring. When you're finished making your chain, you want to slip stitch to the first chain to create a ring. And then round one begins with a chain one and single crochet in that same chain. When you download your pattern, it comes with a really wonderful chart as well. All right, so after we single crochet at the beginning of round one, we're going to chain three skip the next five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and in that sixth chain, we're going to work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all in that same chain. Double crochet is yarn over your hook, insert your hook in that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. That's one double crochet. We're going to work that two more times in that same chain, chain two, and then three more double crochets in that same chain as well. Okay, so you can see we did three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all in the same chain. Chain three, skip the next five chains and single crochet in the next chain. So our repeat all the way around is going to be chain three, skip five chains, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in the next chain, chain three, skip five chains and single crochet in the next chain. You want to repeat that all the way around. Last repeat, you want to replace your last single crochet with slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what the end of round one should look like. We're going to fasten off color A and join with color B now. And for this sample here, I'm going to use color coral for color B. So you want to tie your yarn to your crochet hook again. Doesn't matter what kind of knot you use, whatever you prefer is fine. And we're going to join with a slip stitch in the last chain three space that we made at the end of round one with a slip stitch, chain three, and then work a double crochet into the next chain three space. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain three, in the next chain two space here, we're going to work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Yarn over your hook, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Two more. Chain two. And three more doubles in that same chain two space. chain three, and then we're going to work a double crochet two together over each of the next two chain three spaces. So it's yarn over your hook, 
insert your hook in the next chain three space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the next chain three space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, you now have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And so our repeat for this round is chain three, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in the next chain two space, chain three, and double crochet two together over the next two chain three spaces. You wanna repeat that all the way around. Repeat, you want to replace the last double crochet two together with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what the end of round two should look like. Rounds three and four are both a repeat of round two. You simply fasten off and join a new color and do the exact same thing. For round three, I used turquoise, and for round four, I used diva. And now rounds five and six are both done with the same color of yarn. So the only time we won't fasten off after every round is after round five. But I'll show you what I mean when we get there. We're going to start round five by joining our yarn to our crochet hook. And for rounds five and six, I'm going to use color lilac this time. And we're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain three of the uh, previous round, chain one, and single crochet in that same stitch. Notice how I also wove in my ends as I go. When I'm doing a heavy color work project, I find it is so much more pleasurable and relaxing if I take the time and the discipline to weave in my loose ends at the end of each round. You get to enjoy the projects, the beauty of the project so much better when you uh, keep up on weaving in the ends. It's my personal preference. You don't have to do it, but just a thought. Okay, the next stitch is a three double crochet cluster and we're going to work the first one in the first double crochet. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook in that first double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We now have four loops on our crochet hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops on our hook. That's a three double crochet cluster. Chain two, skip the next double crochet, and then in the next double crochet, work another three double crochet cluster. Chain two. Then in the next chain two space, work another three double crochet cluster. chain two. In the next double crochet, work a three double crochet cluster. Chain two. Skip the next double crochet and in the next double crochet, work a three double crochet cluster. And then in the next double crochet two together, we're going to work a single crochet. And so our repeat for this round is three double crochet cluster, chain two, 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 three double crochet cluster, and single crochet. And you wanna repeat that all the way around. Now you wanna replace the last single crochet with a slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And that is what the end of round five should look like. We're going to use the same color for round six, so no need to fasten off here. We want to slip stitch across and into the first chain two space. So we're going to slip stitch into the first cluster stitch, and then slip stitch into the first chain two space. That's where we need to be to start round six. Chain one single crochet in the same space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain two, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain three, and single crochet in the next chain two space. 
And so our repeat for this round is chain three, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain two, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, sorry, chain two space, chain three, and single crochet in the next chain two space. And you wanna repeat that all the way around. If you get lost, remember that the chain two goes over the center cluster stitch in each cell, and the rest of the spaces are chain three spaces. So you wanna repeat that all the way around. Repeat, we're going to replace the last single crochet with a slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And that's what the end of round six should look like. Okay, so we've completed our six round stitch pattern, but because it's offset, I'll show you on the finished piece. So because it's an offset pattern, we did these six rounds, but it's offset so it ends up being a 12 round repeat. And because the first round of the six rounds is worked into chains, it's different when you're in the established pattern. So round seven, although it's identical in stitches to round one, it's joined in different places. So let me show you how to work round seven. And because we've used all five of our colors, we're ready to repeat our colors again. So we're back to the original Mykonos blue. And the pattern says to join with a slip stitch in any of the chain two spaces. And remember the chain twos are the ones that were worked directly over the top center of the shells. So you can join in any one of them. Join with a slip stitch in a chain two space, chain one, and single crochet in the same chain two space. Chain three, skip the next chain three space, and in the next chain three space, work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. chain three, skip the next chain three space, and single crochet in the next chain two space. So our repeat for this round is chain three, skip the next chain three space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles in the next chain three space, chain three, skip the next chain three space, and single crochet in the next chain two space. You want to repeat that all the way around. Repeat, slip stitch to the first single crochet, at the beginning of the round to join. So we're replacing the last single crochet with a slip stitch instead. And so now you want to just repeat rounds two through six for rounds seven through 12, and that will give you the offset stitch pattern that you need to complete the cowl. The only other thing that you'll need to know how to do is to create the top edge here when we end the stitch pattern at the end of a round six or a round 12, you get this really great scalloped edge, which I think is beautiful for the lower edge of the cowl, but I thought it would be nice to keep things a little tighter for the top edge. So it's a round of double crochet and then a round of slip stitch. So how we do that is we're going to go back to the free loops of the beginning chain at the beginning of the round and we'll tie our yarn to our crochet hook. I used the same color that I began with, which was Mykonos blue, but you could do it a different color, it doesn't matter. And so of that 12 chain repeat, we skipped five chains and then we worked into a chain. So what I'm going to do is slip stitch to join. You can do this in any of the chains, but I'm gonna join in a chain that we worked a stitch in. Chain three, which counts as a double crochet, then work five double crochets around the next chain five. and then double crochet in the next chain that has a stitch in it. So you'll end up working a total of, the number of double crochets that you work on this round is exactly the same as the number of chains that you started with. At the end of this round, you wanna slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And then our next round is simply slip stitch into each stitch around. You slip stitch into each stitch and then Pass it off.
You want to follow the link in the video description to download the pattern that includes a really great chart and to get more information on Be So Baby yarn. Uh, again, the colors that I used in the sample today are Mykonos Blue. Let's see, we'll start from the bottom. Mykonos Blue, Coral, Turquoise, Diva, and Lilac. And the colors that I used in the cowl are Chocolate, Peacock Teal, Aquamarine, Turquoise, and Ecru. And Be So Baby Yarn is on sale for $3.99. There's a link in the video description for both the yarn and the pattern. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. And if you check out the video description, I've provided links for everything we talked about in this video. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.